Hi, welcome to the CSIS Southeast Asia Dialogue Program. My name is Murray Hebert. I'm a Senior Fellow and Deputy Director of the Southeast Asia Program here at CSIS. Our guest today is, uh, is Chairman Gita Wirdewan of the Indonesian Investment Coordinating Board. Uh, Chairman Wirdewan, as, uh, as Chairman of the, the Coordinating Board, what do you see as some of your key priorities and how are you going about trying to implement these? Uh, I think there's several, but the first one is to make sure that we undertake uh, the key institutional reforms uh, that would set the foundation for a much bigger scale of investments to come, uh, particularly in the area of infrastructure. Some of these key institutional reforms would be the land acquisition law that has been highly anticipated for quite a while and of course uh, some revisions on how we actually undertake uh, you know tender procedures uh, and the third would be you know the extent uh, of our taking a fiscal view on certain investments whether it is to the extent of giving tax allowance or even tax holidays these are in the works uh, which I believe will create a uh, very different you know, investment climate for the better, of course, and that will, I think, unleash uh, quite a significant amount of value. As uh, you know, thinking a little bit about American investors, uh, what do you see as some of the issues and policies, and, and that you guys are, your board is trying to introduce yeah. that that they should be aware of? I, I think it's uh, it's, a, it's a case of understanding Indonesia better. Uh, you know, people have commented to the extent of people in Jakarta not communicating as well uh, as they should with people in the regions. Uh, it is true to some extent, but uh, I think we've dealt with that and we've addressed it uh, quite uh, well in the past and we're proving it by virtue of numbers. Uh, foreign investments have gone up. but. At the same time, domestic investments have also gone up. Uh, as a matter of fact, domestic investments uh, in relative terms have even gone up. Uh, but I think what the American investors can expect going forward is better communication amongst the different branches of the government within uh, the center and also between the central government and the regional government and how we can actually uh, show that we can, um, you know, fix some of the issues that have been raised before. If you were advising U.S. investors, uh, invest long-term investors, right. about how to manage risk and and uh, build a presence in Indonesia, what would you recommend that they do? You know, I think uh, Indonesia is going through a repricing of risk, and I think it will continue going through uh, you know a repricing of risks at the rate that you know from a fiscal standpoint we're very very sound you know in terms of managing our debt uh, containing the debt to gdp ratio at 26 percent even on a declination to a lower percentage in the years to come uh, and also being able to manage inflationary pressure uh, quite well uh, in the last couple of years as compared to some other uh, you know, Asian countries, uh, and this I think will entail uh, the world's recognition uh, of Indonesia uh, from a risk profile standpoint uh, as a better destination. Uh, you know, some have even argued that you know Indonesia ought to be you know an investment grade country since uh, months, if not a couple of years ago. Uh, we'll go through that. I think the world will see us, uh, you know, in in a in a more favorable light as we go along. Indonesia is hosting the uh, ASEAN yep. uh, this year. Uh, is chairing ASEAN. You're going to host the summit in November. Uh, you're going to host the East Asia summit uh, at the same time. Uh, President Obama will go for the first time as yep. a member, uh, bringing the U.S. in as a member of the East Asia Summit. Right. If you were asked to brief him uh, tomorrow on three things he should know in advance of the summit, what, what are some things you might tell well, him? Well, I mean, clearly, uh, scale. It's a 240 million people. Uh, number two, I think, macroeconomically very, very sound. 
both from a fiscal and monetary standpoint. And third is demographics. Uh, we're youthful people. Uh, we're very young and we will stay young for a long time and youth will certainly entail uh, productivity which will be good for anybody that wants to invest in Indonesia. Those, those would be, I think, the first uh, three things that I would you know, tell anybody uh, mm -hmm. about you know, investing in Indonesia. Now, uh, Indonesia is a member of APEC, uh, and, uh, and another new in in institution that is being born, I guess, in right. the Asia-Pacific is a Trans-Pacific Partnership. How do you see Indonesia fitting into these multilateral forums, economic forums, and do you see any possibility of Indonesia joining the Trans-Pacific Partnership sometime down the road? I think we're still at the early stage of discussions. Uh, we have entered into a number of communities and groupings and memberships, so, uh, whether it's the G20 and we've also signed free trade agreements with uh, a number of uh, regions in the world. These are, I think, things that we've got to be able to proof uh, that those are worthy uh, of successes and as we go along some of these uh, I think uh, we will be able to enter uh, a more or a deeper uh, stage of discussions on the TPP but you know as you pointed out earlier I think Indonesia is increasingly getting recognized on a world map by virtue of not only our membership in APEC but also our chairmanship of ASEAN but also our membership of the G20. And we've had successful events that basically notify the world uh, that Indonesia is getting on the radar screen a lot better and a lot more than we ever have, whether it's by virtue of the OPEC conference that was held in Indonesia, the World Economic Forum East Asia earlier this year, and the upcoming you know, East Asia Summit uh, and some of the other events that we will, uh, you know, continue having in Indonesia. These are, I, I think, are, are good for Indonesia in terms of putting Indonesia on a world map. Chairman Gita Wirdzawan, thank you very much. Thanks, Murray.